If you believe Laird Hamilton, most of us will be boarding around golf courses instead of walking or riding in carts by approximately next week. Mr. Hamilton, a world-famous surfer, helped develop the golf board as a way to make the game more fun for himself and his friends. Riding the fairways can be like riding the waves. I, I think the golf board is going to gain popularity very quickly just because of the functionality of it, that it's such a, a good tool to be in, in a golf situation. You just the ability to move around the course and the fun, the fun aspect of it, and the fact that it's athletic. At the first golf board open at Tethero Resort in Oregon, there were times I thought Hamilton might be right. I've never snowboarded and barely downhill skied, but within five minutes of stepping onto a golf board, I felt entirely comfortable carving turns around the driving range. The boards have 14-inch wide platforms with lawnmower-like wheels and a thumb-operated accelerator switch on the handle. They can be set to run slow at 7 miles per hour on rental models or fast at 11 miles per hour. The only other active control is forward and reverse. The golf board automatically brakes when you release the accelerator trigger. Although piloting a golf board down an open fairway is easy enough, and it's impossible to resist surfing the earth a bit as you go, things can get a bit tricky in tight quarters at slower speeds. Another challenge is choosing which steering technique to use in different situations. Golfers with snowboard or skateboard experience tend to stand sideways, hold the handle with one hand, and mostly steer by shifting their weight. More cautious newbies like me hold on with two hands. But either way, it's hard to fall off without really trying to. While they're fun to drive, I'm not convinced that golf boards will be as ubiquitous as motorized carts anytime soon. But one of the nation's largest golf management companies, Billy Casper Golf, says it will outfit at least half of its 150 courses with golf boards over the next six months.